Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be building another apartment in San Myshuno. This is the 122 Hakim house. So I've been saying for the past couple weeks that I like to build something a little more colorful. I feel like I am definitely the kind of person that builds more neutrals and I wouldn't say I have like a beige style by any means, but I definitely don't tend to lean towards color but I am starting to a little bit even more in real life so I decided this week that I was going to build this kind of eclectic style apartment which is just this mis like mix match of all these different styles and it definitely has some pops of color that add a little bit of personality that I really like so we're starting here with just the entryway I imagine well, this isn't a one-bedroom apartment, I guess I should start out by saying. It is a family apartment. There's a bedroom for the parents and then a kid's room, which technically you could turn into a teenager's room. I kind of imagined it was an older child that lives in that bedroom. Um, so yeah, this entryway is kind of your introduction to the apartment and the style in this apartment. So it's very cluttered up. Um, there's a lot of plants in here. There's a lot of like pillows and stuff in here. It is two bathrooms, but only one full bathroom. This is just a little powder room right off the entrance of the apartment that guests can use. Um, I tried to decorate it, it's obviously very small and it was kind of awkward to film the decoration of this room just because I couldn't, like if I put the walls down it looked really ridiculous because it's in the middle of the apartment. So we're already moved on to the main living area. So I used uh, Felix Xander's new set Soho in here. That's what those dividers are from and I'm obsessed with them. I think they're so, so pretty and I waited a really long time for them to come off of early access so that I could use them in a build. And this I think was the first build I used them in. So yeah, I use them to separate kind of the living room area from I guess a little hallway when you enter into this room. I used Hey Harry's couches in here I believe. These are Shop the Look I think or Octave. I'm not sure actually which one of those sets these couches are from but they are from Hey Harry. I just like them because they have those little wooden pieces that act as like an end table but it's attached to the couch and you can kind of mix and match it however you like to get this really unique look. So yeah, this is quite a big living room for an apartment. I feel like usually when I make apartments they're very cozy and I wouldn't say this apartment isn't cozy because as I said it's very decorated but it's very big and airy as well. We have these huge windows that are from Hey Harry as well. Um, that add a ton of light in here and I think that's always a fun part of apartments because you don't really get that in other builds that you make from scratch in the same way. It just, yeah, it adds a lot and I would say the views from this particular apartment aren't my favorite because it's very much just in like the downtown area. There's no view of like the ocean or anything like that. And it's not the more modern part of San Myshuno, but I think it's still nice and I just love all that light and I definitely took advantage of it and added plants in this apartment, which makes sense because plants would love it here for sure. So yeah, I'm just, I think, adjusting things because it it was tight with the dining table in this area um, just to fit everything. I don't know, I just... I wanted the full dining table and I ended up adding this desk area right here in the kitchen, like just off the kitchen so I couldn't put the dining table there and I also have an island in the kitchen as well so I managed to cram a lot of I guess like furniture in this area but I feel like it doesn't look too overdone. Maybe a little bit, I'm, I'm bad for that, I feel like I hate the look of empty spaces especially in The Sims, not as much in real life, but I feel like to me it just stands out in The Sims like a sore thumb and I have to just add something everywhere. So I believe this is the Octave kitchen set from Hey Harry. I just really liked 
the look of it, like, I think it's patinated is what the, like, material is. It's, I've never used this specific kitchen swatch before, and I thought it was interesting, and it definitely worked with this eclectic style of just different materials and stuff. And if you're wondering, the wallpapers are, and all the arches are from Hey Harry's Clean Set, which I've also been really loving as someone who builds a lot of modern houses and stuff in The Sims. It's nice to get more modern um, wallpapers and just windows and doors and stuff to add a little bit of variety to those builds so they're not so samey because I feel like I struggle a lot with them being that way sometimes. But yeah, I'm really- oh, the floor is also from that set. So yeah, I went for this very concrete look to like the interior of this and then like I said I added a ton of different styles and colors and plants and rugs and stuff to just bring it to life so that it looks really homey and lived in. I managed to fit this piano in here. I don't think- I didn't fit a ton of hobbies or skill building items just because I find it hard in apartments. You really do need like that little nook or a whole extra room to add them. But I did manage to add a couple things. So this is the kids room here. I love how this turned out. So I definitely went with more of a bohemian light wood like style in this bedroom. Like I said, it's an eclectic build so it has a lot of different styles going on. And I think this just really suited like the kids room especially. Um, so I managed to add some toys in here, this little play set that I believe is from 6am. I think it's just 6am, I can't remember if they collaborated with someone to make that set. And I think I also used some things from their playroom set, which I really love, and Fairylicious from Felix and Cluttercat in here, which is another set. Like, I really feel like we need more kids CC in this game. And we've been getting some lately, but I still would love to see more of it. And even stuff for teenagers, maybe, would be cool. Just because I feel like that's some stuff that I struggle... Like, those rooms I struggle with the most because there's just not a lot of that kind of just buy items. Um... Like I said, like Color Cat and 6am have been really good lately for putting out sets for kids or even sets you can use for teenagers that just really add more variety, which I feel like is something we need and that's why I struggle with it, making those rooms look different from each other. And just in general, I need The Sims to just give us more activities for kids. Like, I hate- that's my least favorite lifestyle in this game 100% because there's just not- that much to do with the kid, like the child lifestyle or life stage, sorry. Uh, I mean their lifestyle as well. There's just- they go to school, they make friends, they have a couple things to play with, they can join clubs. Like there's really not a ton and it makes it a life- like a life stage that I'm just never that excited about and I feel like that's why I don't build for them a ton in this game. But every once in a while I try to do that. So yeah, we're working on the main bathroom of the house. I added a lot of just custom walls and stuff in here because I wanted it, again, to look interesting. I try to do that with my bathrooms because if I'm gonna include them in the video, like, they might as well at least be interesting to see come together because, I mean, bathrooms are definitely one of the more neglected rooms in general in houses and apartments because it's just a bathroom like you can't do a ton with it but I always try to do something interesting with my bathrooms. So yeah here I added this wall piece above the tub. We used more of the Soho set for the shower area and I added a bunch of plants in here and some sculptures and stuff just to again give it a little personality of pop of life. And we're on to the final room, which is the parents' room. I love how this turned out. I use red as a kind of standout color in this room, and I never use red, and I really like it. It's very bold, but it also has this very, like, natural feeling to it that I really like, and it feels really peaceful. I managed to fit a art corner in this room as well, so I imagine an artist 
to live here, maybe a couple of artists to live here. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so, so much for watching this video to this point. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, my Patreon is linked down below. You can find all the CC there and download the tray files. It will also be on the gallery at Lindsay Builds. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Bye.